Okay. Let's move that down. Mute that. <coughs> so, running around with Windows 10. I'm going to put this up here. See if we're skipping real bad. Oh, yeah. Looks like lots of skipping. That's not good. And buffering. Okay. Hold on, guys. I'm getting major, major buffering, and I don't know why. Uh, basically, I should be able to open this stuff up. Check the live stream. God, lots of buffering. Let me close this window here and just see how well it buffers. So anyway, just got Windows 10. And uh, yeah, having some problems. Uh, if I go... Not there. If I zip over to here, <clears throat> and you'll see this real quick. I go to File Explorer, check out Documents, zip over to Fraps, check out one of my movies that I've been working on. It'll load this up. I what up, guys? Slayer in here. Can hear Back on the forever nameless server. There we go. Now I don't have to what? worry about listening to it. It's going to be loud on your guys' home. end. I can actually I've got turn a new place to stay. down. Let's go cruise so over there. And but I'll watch what happens if I zip over world. to a certain part. Good things, very, very good things. Every, every and, time. You know, with all good things, you gotta uh, time it's to gonna load. come up here. I'm gonna show. So, had to take a break from Minecraft. Original's base. <coughs> no big deal. It's. You know, you know this is basically be really the opening really I wanted really awesome, to do actually. for the new uh, video. Run you over here and I'll show you and this is what's gonna happen. Gonna come over here. Uh, the way show his portal. And boom, crash every time. Same thing. 48 seconds in. Now, I was thinking it might have been that file. So, if I went over to my videos, which is right there, and went over to the Let's Plays, uh, go back to the Nameless. I think Furnace still has AVIs? Yeah. See, Furnace still has AVIs. If I remember right, if I zip over here, hey, the guy's slayer it's going to play this, this, house. this, yeah, so many glitching. seconds they in. Really haven't done anything. It's 18. You know, I even started 26. I 34. Stopped. I had to go build the slime farm. And yeah, this is on the AVI. Such a nice guy. It's 40. He built the item elevator. One, for me. two, three, See? now they're four, up in here. Five, I'll have to six, go down later on seven, and check it out eight. How he did it. I'm and so glad he got to do that for me. Huh? Or he didn't, didn't crash that me. time. He didn't get to. He just he did it for me. Okay. Well, what was I watching? Let's go back. Um, oh, I remember what it was. It was on something I deleted, which was hey, there guys, this one. layered in here. Back now. This is what we're thirty-four, going thirty-five seconds uh, in. You, Let's you just, just kind of watch it real quick and see what happens. And I came running over here. Uh, actually, what I've been doing lately when the videos are too long, just gathering resources for this it massive just crashes. Build. It's going to start out small, of course, and it always starts Let's see how long it takes. Right there. How long is that? 50 seconds. So, when it hits the one minute mark, that's when it's crashing. <sighs> tried all the forums, tried to figure it all out. Couldn't find what's wrong with it. <sighs> but I will tell you this right now Windows 10 does allow lots of cool options. Uh, as you can tell, it's relatively snappy. I mean, if I just zip over internet, I can bring that down for you guys to see. And it's relatively fast. I mean, it's, it zips around pretty quick. No complaints there. You know, windows open up and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, this is just showing streaming that I'm doing. Uh, up on the top monitor here, you're going to see... Oh, if it'll let me drag it down. I don't think it will. Yeah, there it goes. Look at that. It's nice and quick. 
you know, it gives that cool weird mirror effect. But yeah, that that works just fine. What I'm really really need to figure out is how to get my AVI videos to work. I mean, I can always go in and like as this one's recording, it's not going to save it in here, but uh, you know, in my movies, I can just convert them and then they work fine as soon as I put them to MP4. But I need to be able to view them right after I record them and because Fraps normally records in AVI because it's raw data, just can't do it. If I can't do it, I just have to go off of a whim and hope I get the right take. So I'll most likely, most likely just be taking a couple takes and be like, oh, I hope that was good. Okay, cut, print, next scene. <clears throat> I know, it's, it's kind of crazy, but... Yeah, that, that's pretty much what I'm running with right now. Um, all in all, uh, with NVIDIA drivers, I am running the... Uh, bring that down for you guys to see. I've got the uh, GTX 660. It's a super clocked. And, you know, normally it works just fine. But at the moment... Or actually before, it was glitching. Like, all the icons would just blank out and come back and... It's just, it's just so weird. Uh, one thing that does work kind of cool is uh, Cortana. <coughs> it, it does things that are kind of cool. I mean, you can go, hey, Cortana, what is the meaning of life? Oh, I don't... There she we goes. all shine on, my friend. Uh, she, she says, we all shine on, my friend. Um... It came up with a really cool answer I, that I absolutely love. Let's see if I can get her to say it. Hey, Cortana. What is the meaning of life? We all shine on, my friend. Oh, she, she goes saying the same thing. Um, yeah, uh, I asked her one time, and she said something about, you know, from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy about... Uh, the number 42, but she didn't know what the question was. Uh, but she's not answering me correctly. <clears throat> hey, Cortana. Why are we here? The chicken might say, to get to the other side. <laughs> the chicken might say, to get to the other side. That is hilarious. Uh, let's see if I can listen to her a little. There we go. But, yeah, it's a pretty nifty little feature. I mean, it's not as cool as Siri as sometimes. And I wish I could get that answer to come back up, but I'll have to figure that out later. Uh, programs, as far as everything that I run, they run just fine. Uh, I haven't had any problems with any of the other programs. Uh, the tile menu setup is pretty cool. Uh, you know, I got my Twitter and, you know, here in Prescott Valley and all that stuff. And it just shows all the good stuff. Uh, I just started working on putting up my own tiles. Uh, you know, I actually expanded this. That way it works a little better for me. Uh, the one thing I didn't like is when you go to settings, that's what it gives you. And that's not the junk I want. And to find control panel, I literally had to go in here and ask Cortana to go uh, control and up on the top here. You can see it right here. It's control panel. But you can right-click it, and it says unpin from start, but it, I already have it pinned. Because I use control pin a lot, I've got it pinned here, which is a really nice feature just because of the fact that I do use it all the time. And as you can tell, it's very snappy, very fast. And that I'm liking, and that's the only reason I keep working with Windows 10, is because of how fast it reacts. Now, one thing is, is when you start up, it is kind of slow, and there's like, instead of a waiting screen, it shows you a blank screen that's just like a, like a light gray illuminated thing, and it'll sit there for, well, at least on my computer, it'll sit there for a few seconds, and just like, are you loading? And all of a sudden, it's just like, boom, you gotta load. Uh, now, in order to use Cortana, you do have to have a Microsoft account. Now, having the Microsoft account, which I've already have, means you have to type in a password to log into the computer. Now, normally when I'm on my computer, I do not bother typing in a password because, you know, it's just me. You know, my wife's got her computer, my daughter's got her computer. Nobody messes with mine. 
and don't have to have a password. But now, in order to use Cortana, got to have the password. I mean, you could do a local thing, but then she starts messing up, and yeah, so I just... It's a password. It's not that hard to type it in. Uh, if it was my laptop, I could use my fingerprint scanner. Same difference. That's going to be the next thing to update to Windows 10. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, what else we got here? We got uh, oh, just your normal icons of what's running. Uh, this right here, which is Action Center, I haven't figured out yet. It's pretty cool. I mean, it works really well. Uh, let me see if... Uh, j just in case anybody's watching, let me see if I can get up here on Twitch. You can just see how fast it actually runs. You might hear something. Uh, the only thing is, is pop-ups started happening too. Which I wasn't really liking. Um, I might have to get a third party. See, look on the sides here. All these pop-ups. Wasn't getting those before I switched over. So that's going to be... See, there's another freaking pop-up. Uh, that's going to be something I'm going to have to uh, figure out. Scott, it's not what it looks like. Come on, that miss. Was. It's exactly what... But, yeah, all sorts of junk. Okay, so we're loading up my channel, which is the stream. Got it on mute. But let's see if the pop-ups... Yeah, look, right there. Close that one. Close that one. Close that one. So I've got to get the pop-up blocker to work correctly now. So let's just kind of move that out of the way. I don't know if it's going to start skipping or whatever, but yeah, that's pretty much... Yeah, see, it's just buffering. I'm sorry, guys, if this has been buffering a lot. That must mean I've got issues with upload and download I'll have to go into the OBS settings no biggie not that hard to figure out right now oh there's but another pop has a large it's fine the second screen so you can't see it and I can't like it just won't go away now I wonder once that's done close that let me go into now here's another thing that kind of annoying uh, Defender Right there. I, I like the vendor always running. Okay, now it says it's running. So if I close that, come down here, it's now running. So I don't know if that's going to shut the pop-ups off or what. But, yeah, that's one of those things. And according to my screen on top, it's buffering. Oh, I'm so sorry if this video is just horrible. Um... Uh, I don't even know if you guys can hear me right now because it just says buffering. Should not be buffering. And now it shows my video crash for a second there. <clears throat> okay, let's see if I can at least kind of hear myself. Oh, I'm so sorry if this video is just horrible. Um, I don't feel like busting out the headphones. No, it just keeps buffering. Okay, so I'm going to have to end this video. Uh, it's been kind of interesting just to look at how Windows 10 is working. And I will watch as I do it and see where the buffering starts hindering and all that stuff. And I'll try to get everything sorted out. But, yeah. So, anyway, guys. I know there's nobody watching. Just me. But at least maybe I can get this figured out. Okay? And I'll see you guys next time. Don't have too much fun. And I'll talk to you later.